In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook college. What's to play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep your lamps on. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Hey. 
Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. Freeze! Drop the gun. Don't move. The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Hope you all had a nice, relaxing weekend. Two new John Doe's. That's a dozen active cases in the last two weeks. We're on a hot streak here, and it ain't in the right direction. We're doing our best, sir. At least, some of us are. Son of a bitch. We're all on the same team here. Bring me some wins. That's all. Hey, don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs eyes on you, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously? You doing all right? Yeah. 
No, not really. I a crawl further up your ass? The world's first human-sized piece of talking excrement thinks I stole evidence. In different circumstances, we would be famous. Yikes. But hey, at least everyone knows he's a turd. Yeah. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry bullshit blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, come near a minute. I know you gotta be hating this. Yeah. Come on. You're a good cop. I know you didn't contaminate the crime scene intentionally. You know me pretty well. Look, just tell me you're doing all right, all right? Don't think I forgot what happens in 48 hours. The trapper's execution? It's because of us. Because of you, he's getting his ticket punched, and that's a heavy load. You think I give a shit about Jonathan Finn, then you don't know me at all, partner. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty, sinning liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? I'm sorry, Finn, but your time is up. Wait, please, Miss Graves. We're done. It was Adam. Adam Jones, from the orphanage. I'm listening. He was my friend. Went through the same hell as me. He killed them. It was Adam, not me. I'm listening, but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, we've seen some shit together makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him. Spend a couple of months in the clink and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, cause I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? <laughs> no idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. 
You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kinda need to show you myself, you know? So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. Settle down. We could go together, check it out. Oh, you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Ben, stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! Finn, listen to me. I will look into this, Adam Jones, what you're saying, but even if it's true, it might be a day late and a dollar short. I'm sorry. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana. It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Lana, I'm sorry. It's thin soup. You're on your own here, so go to the judge and see what he says. Please, Felicity. <sighs> I'll talk to the police about Adam Jones. Maybe they'll find something, I don't know. But that's all I can do. Thank you. Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. We caught him in the act, for Christ's sake. You want to tell me why, exactly, we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? Shit, no. I would remember they found something like that. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I would... I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. 
He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I didn't ask for a running commentary, Calvary. I think the record is clear. Detective Marnie showed extreme bravery in a difficult situation. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear what happened from you. At least you were actually there. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh God, please help me. Please. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Oh crap. Oh God! Oh my God, get me out of there! Ah! Okay, shh, shh, calm down, please. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Then must have seen you coming. Pulled a Houdini before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? 
I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system? Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. I'm sorry, detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? Okay, I think we've opened up enough old wounds for one day. Trapper case shook us all up. Sergeant... I'd say we've been more than patient. Is there anything else you wanted to know? Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Cavalry. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it, Miss Graves. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. See you later, Detective Marnie. Huh, a rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first responding officer was killed. Second target, Frederick LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Third target, Father Rominski. The trapper had sewn explosives inside his body wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Left him sitting in a prayer position and he was forced to confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was, huh. It was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct, including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen and the real targets the third precinct police? Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Becky Marnie. Calling Becky Marnie. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling so late, but I've just been going over the case files and... Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure, hit me. Well, I noticed that all of the first responders were from the third precinct, including yourself. And do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the Trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. You don't sound too sure. Well, what do you want me to say? We were all dirty? I'm not accusing you. I'm just... Well, if you could tell me anything else that might help. There's nothing to tell. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Have a good night, Miss Graves. Another note, Trapper was Detective Calvary's case, yet Marnie arrested Finn. Something about the tension today between Calvary and Marnie feels like it runs deeper than they were letting on. Something seems fishy.
This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? What? It's not good. The victim. It's, uh, it's one of us. What? What happened? We're still sorting through the mess, but a call came in. There was a body. A responder showed up. The body was rigged. It looks just like a trap or murder. Police? Who? How? It's, uh, it's Calvary. What? No, that doesn't... That's ridiculous! I don't know all the details yet. We're still sorting through the mess. It's... It's pretty rough in there. Oh my god. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From what we can piece together, it looks like Calvary was, uh, indulging in some private hospitality. Hired hospitality? Yep. Track her down? Uh, just a manager's vague description, brunette, twenties. Great. Calvary's firearm was discharged, full clip, but the only blood in here is his own. And, uh, Officer Montesinos? The responder? Calvary's body was rigged with traps. Fuck. That's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Oh God, it's really him. Anything? <sighs> Nothing useful. Becky, I tried to call you last night. Yeah? You didn't answer. I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? I was home. Alone? Yeah. So? I just... You know how this looks, right? What are you saying? Everybody knows how you two felt about each other, Peggy. <sighs> Jesus, Carl. Just be careful. Peggy, please. Whatever you're thinking, stop. I'm trying to help you. Yes, yes, I hated Calvary. I hated Calvary, but not like this. 
Becky. This, this is insane. This just makes things a million times worse. And you're not helping. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, can you settle down? Listen up. We lost a brother today. Another one won't be returning to duty. It could have been a lot worse. I know this is a dark day for all of us. Calvary was... Uh, he was a tough son of a bitch. Nobody thought he'd go out this way. But I'm gonna need you all to keep your nose to the grindstone until we crack this case. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? Call girl? Her APB's out in the street walker and uh, our potential suspect, Adam Jones. Any developments, you'll be the first to know. Right now, we're saying Calvary was taken off the payroll by a copycat killer. Maybe someone taking their cues from Finn and the clink. Due to her close proximity to the case, we're being aided by Prosecutor Felicity Graves in this investigation. Detective Marnie, I want you to go over Calvary's old case files, see if anything tracks with the previous trapper hits. Paperwork, Tom? You want my fingers doing all the work while this guy's still out there? Detective Marnie, you would do what's required of you, do you hear me? Five by five, Sergeant Nelson. Okay, people. Can't let the flies start buzzing. We got a job to do. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. Look, when I soften in the lockup, he did offer to help. So? Well, if Adam Jones is real, he might help us find him. Well, it's complicated. Need a judicial order to get him out of cold storage. Yeah, wow. Good luck with that. I'm gonna talk to the judge. If it's a real lead, we gotta check it out while we still have time. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. Yeah. Felicity, Finn is dangerous. All right. Do we have a problem? What? The fuck were you going on about this morning at the crime scene? Becky. Do you honestly think that I have something to do with this? Not now, okay? You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, 
Everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distance you have, the better. Why'd you think Sarge put you on file work? I thought you were my partner. I'm just making sure we got our story straight. So, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Doesn't really sound like it. Hey, that's not fair. We have to trust each other. Yeah, we do. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look. Hello? Hello?
Oh, hello, ladies. Looks like Father Rominski was a regular customer. Whoa. Back to the beginning, The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill, no apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty. Yes? Miss Johnson? What do you want? I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. No, ma'am, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter doing some research on the Trapper case. Mm hmm Do you have any idea why the Trapper might want to harm your husband? He did more than harm that son of a bitch. He killed him. Tore his damn throat out and thanked God for it. At least someone had the balls to put that scum in the ground. I would have liked to shake the trapper's hand. Do me a favor. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, in and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. 
Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. a little chat. <laughs> this is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. Stupid, okay? I don't gotta do anything. No? I just wanna talk to you. What the hell you wanna talk about? Put the gun down. I just wanna talk. Las Palmas Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Just, just stay back. I'm gonna drop my weapon. Okay, see? I only wanna talk to you. Uh, God damn it. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Anything I can and will be used against me. Story of my life, lady. Yeah, let's go. Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Adam Jones. Ah. Uh, what can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. He said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Elaborate. Want me to spell it out? He supplied. For everyone. Yeah, you gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Get this piece of shit out of here. Scumbag telling the truth? About his brother? About the cops. The whole third precinct was dirtier than a truck stop toilet. The, uh, whole precinct? Yeah, I kept my nose clean, but it wasn't easy. Sergeant Teller was my boss, for Christ's sake. We have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. 
You're not wrong, but it doesn't feel right. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, Carl. What's up, Becky? On my way to see Simon Hillary. At home? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Just be delicate. Man, the guy's lid blown off this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Detective Marnie. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you at home. Please, come in. I can't believe how close I was to, to... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second and... My God. You examined the trapper's rigs last time. How did this match up? Same guy? Yes. I, I, I do believe it's the same trapper. How can you tell? Well, the... The rigging in his nose. I mean, the only way to describe it would be artful. Masterful, even. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the Undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well, there was trace evidence. Yes, it's it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course. Uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Something's fishy. It's like we've got all these tidy little puzzle pieces, but... The picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder, maybe Finn's still a part of it, but... But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. Finn's Adam Jones apparently survived the orphanage fire, worked for The Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. I'm sorry, I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Sorry, just a moment, I'll get that all cleaned up. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. Here, let me help you. All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh. I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, you probably knew them. Thank you for your time.
Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the orphanage? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. Eight twenty-three p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? Son of a bitch. Gotcha. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Oh my god. That's from the orphanage. Dollars to donuts, that's the same hoodie I saw drying over Simon's washing machine. Shit. <laughs> wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge.
I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you... Start talking. I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. I was putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. Okay, if you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession dependent on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God. Please. Please, Becky. Who is he? Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. You still think it's me? Becky, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. If that was me on the footage, then why would I show it to you? I mean, why wouldn't I just kill you back at the cabin? You kind of almost did. Touche. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them, and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom, and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are, are you saying our Simon is not the Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire, then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases, and that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. I know, but I can get this guy. We can get this guy. With your help. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just 
lay it all out first? Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the Trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is, Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or maybe there's just... Maybe there's something we're missing. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. No one's ever safe in this town. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking, and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. <sighs> Christ. He's been right in front of our face this whole time. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like? He knows you, so you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well, Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. Fuck it, let's get him. Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. Bait's on the hook. Go fish. God, there's only one thing sweeter than money, baby. Revenge. This is 609. 
I need a trace on license number 2018116. License 2018116 returns clear and is registered to a vehicle belonging to Simon Hillary. Son of a bitch. I need backup now. In pursuit of the trapper, I repeat, I need immediate backup. Shit, time to go. What the hell? Okay, great. Temple Bar. Ten minutes? Perfect. I'll be here. See you soon, Simon. PME? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm headed to his house. Becky, I'm on my way. Be careful, okay? Just hurry. Felicity's in there with him.
Marnie. Oh my god, Becky. We hit the mother load. You gotta get over here right now. Simon's the trapper. We got him dead to rights. I know. He tried to attack me outside the bar. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm on my way to you. Becky. I'm going in. I'm gonna get him. No, I'm coming with you. It's too dangerous. But I can... No, you need to stay out here. I've had enough of your shit. Detective Becky Marnie has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, was being considered a suspect and has now been shot and killed by law enforcement at his residence in the South Bank neighborhood. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. The police are treating these reports as nothing more than a vicious smear. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Nelson made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. I am incredibly grateful to Detective Marnie my former partner, because of her tireless efforts, the Trapper's killing spree is finally over. We trusted Simon, we never considered. It slipped right by us. Well, not all of us, not my partner. Know someone named Simon Hillary. Mr. 
Miss Graves. Can you tell me what you were doing in Simon Hillary's house? I was looking for the truth. Police weren't. And someone had to do what was right. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago.